Road 270 Russian, Raketny Dvigatel 270, Rocket Engine 270, 8D420 was a single-chamber liquid bipropellant rocket engine designed by Energomash USSR in 1960–1970. It was to be used on the first stages of proposed heavy lift Yaw 700 and Yaw 900 rocket families. It has the highest thrust among single-chamber engines of the USSR, 640 metric tons at the surface of Earth. The propellants used are unsymmetrical dimethylhydrazine UDMH, and nitrogen tetroxide N2O4. The chamber pressure was among the highest considered, being about 26 MPa. This was achieved by applying full-flow staged combustion cycle for all the incoming mass of fuel, which is turned into a gas and passes through a couple of turbines before being burned in the combustion chamber. This allowed the engine to achieve a specific impulse of 301 s 2.95 km per second at the Earth's surface. The engine testing was underway when the decision was made to cancel the program. The development of it was stopped with all other work on corresponding rocket projects on of December 1970. History The development of Road 270 started on 26 June 1962. Preliminary investigations and development of the engine and its further production were performed under the guidance of Valentin Glushko and finished in 1967. It became the most powerful engine in the world with use of high boiling propellant to date. During 1967 to 1969, several test firings were performed with experimental engines that were adapted to work at sea level and had a short nozzle. In total, 27 test firings were performed with 22 engines, three engines were tested twice, and one of them was tested three times. All works stopped later together with corresponding activities on the Yaw 700 project. During development, Glushko studied the use of pentaborane. Zip! propellants in a modified RD270M engine. This would have created immense toxicity problems but increased the specific impulse of the engine by 42 seconds 0.41 km per second. Topic. Design The engine throttle range was 95 to 105 percent, the thrust vector control range was plus or minus 12 degrees Project R56, and plus or minus 8 degrees for your 700 rocket family. The oxidizer to fuel ratio was 2.67 and can be changed by up to 7%. To achieve such a high specific impulse and pressure in combustion chamber as Road 270 has, two circuits of full flow staged combustion cycle were applied. The pair of turbines with preburners turns the fuel into the gaseous form and circulates all of the fuel components. One of the turbines uses the fuel-rich gas to power a fuel pump, another one uses the oxidizer-rich gas to power the oxidizer pump. As a result, the main combustion chamber MCC burns only generator gas. The engine controller regulates the functions of the two independent fuel and oxidizer circuits, with the purpose to cool MCC it has layered wall structure with four internal belts of slots. Some parts of nozzles are covered by zirconium dioxide for thermal protection. See also Rocket engine Staged combustion cycle Road 253 engine for universal rocket family. Road 170 comparable Russian RP-1, LOX engine with four combustion chambers. F-1 comparable RP-1, LOX engine. Raptor comparable contemporary methane engine. Proton rocket, successor of one of universal rocket series. N-1. Carrier number 1. Alternative rocket for Soviet lunar projects. <laughs>